Radio. And now, Ham Radio Concepts presents another exciting amateur radio video, keeping ham radio operators informed with a thorough look at the new products. Now, here's your host, Eric, KJ4YZI. What's up, everyone? Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, checking out the new Yesu FT891 HF and 6 meter transceiver by Yesu. A new radio with some new features, and gigaparts.com was nice enough to send me one for a quick demo and review on the YouTube channel, so you get to see it first. So the link is in the description. Thank you, Gigaparts, for uh, letting me check that out. So looking at this radio my first impression and we'll go over it and see some video footage of what it does and, and this and that but my my opinion is it resembles an upgraded model of the 857 and yesu has said they did not plan on making this a replacement to the 857 d which is still not discontinued at this time so this not having h uh, only having hf and six meters without the vhf uhf is one portion of the radio that does not have in it compared to the 857 which has the VHF and UHF also. My opinion, my personal feeling is I would rather have just a regular dual band. I mean I had multiple dual bands around here. I would keep this for HF and 6 meters. In fact you've heard me say before my FT450 is my real main radio that I have on the desk. It's not the top of the line radio but I've had it for so long and I love it and this thing will do everything my FT450 will do and then some in a smaller size and some other features. So let's check it out and see what features this has and how it looks. HF 100 watts, 160 through six meters. Total received 30 kilohertz to 56 megahertz. So essentially this will do everything that my FT450 will do in a newer radio and a lot less size, or smaller than my FT450, a little more portable with a detachable face on the front. So this this wouldn't be anything less than my FT450. Actually, it's supposed to have a better receive with a 32 point uh, floating DSP enhanced receiver and DSP for really rejecting the, the QRM and unwanted signals when you're a serious contester or QRP enthusiast or CW uh, CW expert. The receiver design on this has been uh, totally run over and added a lot of technology to that part of the radio. Now, looking at, this, looking at the size of it, it's about the same, a little bit bigger than the FT-857. So it's not taking up a lot on your shack or in your vehicle. Okay. Buttons on the front, very easy to get to. Three on the bottom that can be programmed to whatever you want uh, or, or different menu functions can be programmed as quick buttons right here. And the tuning knob is very easy. And you have your select knob over here and your volume squelch multi knob. So on the back of this, here's the back. It does have the same Yesu four pin connector on it as I do on my FT450 and some other radios. Here's the heat sink where the fans uh, vent so it keeps the, the transistors really cool. And a USB port. So the USB port will be used for cat control on ham radio deluxe. I'm pretty sure the driver will either be found by Windows or available on the ASU website for download. And the ports in the back here are for additional accessories that they've made for this that are optional that do not come with this radio. Such as the new FC50 automatic antenna tuner, which is a 100 memory microprocessor controlled antenna tuner specifically designed for the 891, similar to like a MFJ or LDG tuner that automatically remembers your tuning preferences or, or as it tunes through the band. It's instant when you go back and forth. So that's really cool to have something that I think it's just about the same size as this. So it would stack with it really nicely and can be used in a mobile environment as well. They also have an additional accessory that's available. The FH1, I think it is. Let's see. FH2 remote control keypad to probably control the radio remotely with these buttons up front and a little keypad that would plug in additionally here. And you can use your ATAS 120 active tuning antenna system by Yesu that you use with Drape 57. You can use it with this and the option exists in the menu to use an external tuner or antenna system. So size of the screen on the FT-857 was rather small and with the contrast of it in a mobile environment, it was hard to read the screen and see it from if you had it, you know, not directly in front of your face. 
So they decided to make this with a bigger screen with a different contrast and it, it makes it a lot easier to see if you're mobile or on your shack. I mean, it makes it a lot better. Whatever the band will give us, that's what we get. But uh, anyway, appreciate the call. My handle is Bob. I'm in South Central Texas, the little bitty town called Smiley. There's about 400 of us here in Smiley if we're all home at the same time. But back to you, WD0 Japan Echo Echo listening. So with a busy contest weekend, right now there's a, a contest ending. I'm not sure if it's 10, 12, 15, 17, 20, and 40, but if you're using something like this, a band scope comes in real handy. You can uh, use this to sweep, push the sweep button here, and you can take a, a quick snapshot of a section of the band to find the action, right? Now you can even hold the sweep button here and it turns into a real-time sweep of the portion of the band you're looking at. And now I can scroll through here and if you're really into contests and you can find the biggest pileups here. Even with different levels here, level 3, you can go to level 1. It's only going to show you the very strongest signals. It's kind of attenuating everything else, but you can kind of see the strongest peaks here because you're attenuating it on the scope. and. Uh, Right here. It's a good way to find the uh, the action on the band. Being a digital mode person myself, they do make a digital packet PSK ready interface cable for this, so that you can use your favorite digital modes on here with programs like Digital Master and others that you may use. So, changing the bands, I mean, to walk through this thing, easy as one, two, three. Band button, 40 meters, done. Scroll around. A lot of the options that you're used to on an HF radio, such as this with your clarifier and your uh, different, there we go, clarifier. So look in the menu here, hit the function button. So, function one. Uh, a lot of features again that you're familiar with. Vox, here's the tuner option. Your Vox, your attenuator, narrow, shift, shift the signal. A lot of the functions in here with the DSP. Automatic dynamic noise reduction so that you can uh, really pull in them weak signals. But the menu structure is not terribly complex. Here's function one with the, if you read the manual, it shows you what each one of these are. Function two, here's some more of them. The meter, the scope, change the meter to power output, and such. All right, and then your CW settings right here. So not terribly confusing. It is a little bit easier to navigate this menu than it would be my FT450. The FT4, FT450, for instance, you see one option at a time, you have to scroll through a list of 100 things. Whereas this one, you kind of got them 12 of them here on the screen at one time. Big antenna is, uh, I don't know if you've looked at our QRZ DX uh, or not, but uh, we've got a rather large antenna. It's a 1,200 foot square loop, and it's supported by four 100 foot towers, one in each corner. So overall, a quick look at this radio, a definite improvement over the FT-857. I'd rather have this than my FT-450. I know I'm dated and probably need to upgrade from the FT-450, but I love that radio because I can take it portable. I've used it for many years at my house. But this thing does everything and more and is more modern and has a detachable face. It's a lot easier to use through the menu. So I definitely like this radio. I might consider this as my next radio. And um, the link is in the description of where you can get it. I hope this brought some kind of light to what you're looking at on this radio. And maybe in the future we'll get another look at it down the, down the line and see how it's, how it's gone in the next year or two. Thanks for watching 7.3. A lot more videos coming your way. So stay subscribed. Check out Facebook.com slash Ham Radio Concepts. The website's still under construction, but it's there, HamRadioConcepts.com. And subscribe on YouTube. Thumbs up. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.